In continuation of my Simple Machine videos, we are going to talk about wheels and axles today. In this video, we will be finding the ideal mechanical advantage, tangential displacement multiplier, and number of rotations per minute given a displacement over time. A wheel and axle is basically two cylinders, a large cylinder or wheel, marked in blue in this slide, and a smaller cylinder or axle marked in green on this slide. In this example, the axle is where the force is coming from, so it is the input, and its diameter is 0.1 meters. The wheel is the output, and it has a diameter of 0.5 meters. Let's start out by finding the mechanical advantage. To find the mechanical advantage, you can take the input circumference over the output circumference. This could be simplified as input diameter over output diameter, or input radius over output radius. I have looked all over the internet and it is stated most places that a wheel and axle's mechanical advantage is always the wheel diameter over the axle diameter. This is incorrect if the force is coming from the axle, like in this case. If we were to view the wheel and axle as a lever, we would have a small input arm of 0.05 meters and a large output arm of 0.25 meters. Note this is the radiuses of the wheel and axle. Being the input arm is shorter, we would have to apply a greater force at the input arm to move the resistance at the output arm. This comes at the advantage of moving the input arm less distance for the distance gained at the output arm. So after we plug our answers into the mechanical advantage formula of input over output, we get a mechanical advantage of 0.2. This means that the force on the outside edge of the wheel will be one-fifth of the force at the outside edge of the axle. Now let's calculate the tangential displacement multiplier. We can take the inverse of the mechanical advantage. So if we take the output circumference over the input circumference, we get the displacement multiplier of five times. This means that if we move a given distance at the outside edge of the axle, we will move five times that distance at the outside edge of the wheel. Finally, let's say the wheel moves a distance of 10 meters per minute and we want to find the rotations per minute of the wheel and axle. We can take the distance per unit of time divided by the circumference of the wheel to get the correct answer. In this case, we can take the 10 meters per minute traveled over 0.5 meters diameter times pi to get to the circumference of the circle and we get 6.37 rotations per minute. The way you can think about this is that every time the wheel rotates, it completes one circumference. So if we lay out 6.37 circumferences, this would be the amount needed to take up 10 meters of travel. So the wheel must rotate around 6.37 times per minute to make up 10 meters per minute of travel. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription.